In most cities in developing countries, the collection and disposal of urban solid wastes and wastewater is a growing problem. However, urban agriculture is gaining increasing recognition for its potential to turn these wastes into a productive resource. You see this pile of garbage and this group working here. The group is one of the franchisees who are doing waste collection and disposal, uh, being contracted by the Dasram city authorities. Now, instead of this waste being disposed of to the legal dump site, it is taken somewhere very near and composted. That compost is being sold to people who are doing urban agriculture. Initially, they sold the compost at 250 per kilo. That is, was a super profit. They were making a super profit. During one of the training, they, we found that a kilogram of compost can be, the operation cost of, uh, of making one kilogram of compost is uh, 48 shillings. So if they sell compost at 50 shillings, they will still make a profit. So selling compost at 250, that means they were making a super profit. Garbage is money. <laughs> Garbage is money. This project has been running for the past three years and it has been successful in, in providing the more than 2,000 jobs and the Daslam is clean. Senegal is a country confronting rapid urbanization. 45% of the urban Senegalese population now lives in Dakar, the capital. While the construction of new neighborhoods at the outskirts of the city tries to keep up with its rapidly growing population, land for agriculture is becoming scarce, not to mention the strong competition for water. Urban farmers have great difficulty in obtaining enough and especially enough clean water for irrigation. Some farmers even use sewage water to grow their crops. They are often unaware of the health risks involved. <laughs> Every year, about 180,000 cubic meters of sewage water leaves the city of Dakar and enters the Atlantic Ocean without any treatment. This wastewater could be a valuable resource for urban agriculture. In Castor, a city near Dakar, an experiment involving 180 households has been set up to investigate the possibilities for recycling wastewater. passe à travers différents bassins. Donc là c'est le premier bassin, après ce grand décanteur, l'eau passe par le premier bassin, ensuite le deuxième, jusqu'au bassin terminal pour y subir l'épuration. Bon normalement, euh, en temps normal, il devait y avoir euh, un tapis hein, fait de, de pistia. Euh, ces pistia en tout cas servent à épurer l'eau. Alors mais il n'y a pas de, de tapis de pistia, c'est parce que nous sommes, euh, nous faisons une étude présentement. Où on a enlevé, on a récolté tous les pistiens pour ensuite les replanter. C'est ce qui explique que présentement il n'y a pas eu de pistiens. Donc l'objectif un peu c'est de fournir aux populations hein, euh, un procédé de collecte, d'évacuation, de traitement et de réutilisation des eaux usées en agriculture urbaine. Le but de cette étude c'est de faire des expérimentations. Euh, avec euh, de, de la culture de légumes, de fruits. Et les produits vont être euh, analysés au laboratoire pour voir s'il n'y a pas de résidus, s'il n'y a pas, si c'est propre à la consommation. Et comme ça, nous, nous avons la certitude que les agriculteurs d'Ardakar peuvent utiliser cette eau 
qui est épuré ici dans, 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 les, dans cette station. Et comme ça, nous, ça nous donne l'occasion même de multiplier hein, euh, dans, de, dans les autres quartiers ce genre de système. All of these examples from Ecuador, Tanzania, Senegal and Vietnam have shown that urban and peri-urban agriculture form an intrinsic part of the urban system. Provided that health aspects are well managed, urban agriculture can have a positive impact on the economy, social organization and ecology of the city. By enhancing urban food security, alleviating poverty and improving the urban environment, Urban agriculture offers a great contribution to sustainable urban development worldwide.